not too long ago, I went to Japan to teach English to a bunch of high school kids, which really sucked for them because I spent all my time going to Japanese rock concerts instead. I mean, like, what would you do in Japan, right? So I get back, and I want to share Japanese music with all my friends, and more often than not, I'm getting this face. You know who you are, Charles. You know, I, and they would say, like, no, I can't get into the lyrics. I don't understand the language. It's mecha sugo. I cannot understand it. And I would always respond with, well, what about some English songs? Like, what about Corey Hart, for example? I mean, does anybody know what comes next? Like, are there any Western songs that you really need to understand the lyrics for? Have you tried to understand Pearl Jam? <laughs> Cannot be done. There are a lot of other bands like that, too. So tonight, because you can't escape from me, I want to show you about, or I want to tell you about some Japanese bands that you can go out and discover tonight, and maybe show you that they're not so different from the bands you already have on your iPod. We start with the Goo Goo Dolls. Um, bassist Robbie Takak is not Japanese. Um, but he does own a record label called Good Carmel Records in Buffalo, New York, where he represents uh, several Japanese bands, most notably Shonen Knife. Yeah. All right? Now, Shonen Knife is a pop punk band that's been rocking since 1981. And they've played just about everywhere in the States uh, Lollapalooza, Fun 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 Fest. They even played in Tucson. And their sound is sugary sweet, kind of like, um, like Skittles. They've got songs like Cookie Day, uh, Twist Barbie, and uh, Banana Chips. Kurt Cobain once said of Shonen Knife, when he asked them to tour with him on, Never, on the Nevermind tour, when I finally got to see them live, I was transformed into a hysterical nine-year-old girl at a Beatles concert. <laughs> That's a Kurt Cobain quote. That's about how I felt when I saw these guys. This is ex-Japan playing their first US show at Lollapalooza last year. They came out in 1981 in a Japan where there was no heavy music, there was only pop. A Japan without guitar solos. Since then, they've sold 30 million albums worldwide. They've created their own musical genre called Visual K, and they're pretty snappy dressers when it comes to leather. I mean, you know, I wish I could get away with that. Um, this year, in 2011, X-Japan will release their first US-produced album in the States. They'll also go on their second North American tour, which gives them the best shot at mainstream American success that any Japanese band has ever had. You see, it's really hard to break into our music scene, which is pretty odd because our pop stars do pretty well in Japan. Then again, I guess Lady Gaga does pretty much look like an anime character. <laughs> but you don't have to sell 30 million albums to make some headway. One of my favorite bands is called Poly6. Yay! These guys played Tucson, and they're amazing. All right? they, they're energetic in the same way that TNT is explosive. And actually, the lead singer of the band, this guy Hiro, who's right here, um, quit his high school soccer team after he saw a live performance of Devo. They're inspired by Devo. And they're just as fun. They're super fun. And you know what? They don't care if you understand their lyrics. Most of the time, it's gibberish anyway. Example, one of the things they like to say in concert is poly six or die. You can everybody say that? One, two, three, poly six or die. Except they say it like this, Party Six or Day! <laughs> it's amazing! But there's a, um, a lot of smaller Japanese bands that you can go see, and one of the good ways to do that is to go to Japan Night. Now, Japan Night is an annual concert. It starts at South by Southwest in Austin, and it goes to New York, Chicago, and most importantly to us, Las Vegas. That's, that's the time to go, okay? This band played Japan Night. This is Lolita number 18. They've been rocking just as long as Shona Knife, and they caught Joey Ramone's attention. He produced their fourth album, all right? And they do an amazing cover of Video Killed the Radio Star by the Buggles. I mean, life-changing. Now, every time I've been to Japan Night, I've seen five or six bands, um, virtually unknown. I've seen um, Japan's Answer to Industrial Rock. I've seen more chick rock, or enough chick rock to make Michelle Branch weep. And I've even seen an alternative group that busted out lightsabers. And these guys, this is the Zakuna Sisters. They're a Japanese soul band. I'm going to repeat that. They're a Japanese soul band. They do 70s soul music, and they're incredible. So I haven't had a lot of time to talk to you tonight, but if there's one thing I hope you can take away from my presentation, it's this. Listen to something new. All right? Change out that iPod. You know you got the same albums in there for the last two years. It's time to change things up. Maybe you don't like Japanese music. Maybe you don't like bands in orange jumpsuits. That's fine. Or for me. OK. Yeah. But um, if you want to hear some of these guys, 
Come outside. We're going to have some beers. We're going to listen to Japanese music. Ignite Phoenix or die!